This video is going to be a continuation on setting up an ABB VFD talking to an Allen Bradley PLC. This time focusing on add-on instructions. All right, the first thing you want to do is go to the website to download the add-on instructions. You can Google ABB add-on instructions or go to the website listed below. Once there, you'll click on here underneath the add-on instructions and user defined data types. Fill out the information and click download. It will download the file shown here. Once you install it, you'll have the AOI and UDTs you need for your program. Over on the logic side, we right click on add-on instructions and choose import. We then browse to the C drive and look for ABB add-on instructions folder. We then choose the AOI 1.0 folder. Since we're using an ACS 580, we're going to scroll down in this list and look for ACX 580. Then we'll choose the FINA folder and then the IO assembly instance 171, 121. Click open. Click OK. Now we're going to create a new rung and add the AOI. Now we're going to add some tags to the AOI. The first one we're going to call VFD. Type in the name and then right click on it to create a new tag. The next two relate to the Ethernet device that we created earlier, so we're going to grab those from the pull down menus. First, we'll grab ACS580 colon I dot data. The next one, ACS580 colon O dot data. For the next two, we will create new tags again. The first one we'll call VFD in, the second one, VFD out. And don't forget to right click and create new tag. After downloading that, it's time to test. We'll scroll down to the bottom of our controller tags and expand out VFD in and VFD out. Under VFD out, we're going to look for speed ref and we're going to enter a value of 900. And then we're going to go up to the run forward bit and change that to a one to issue a start signal. Once we do that, we can go up to the VFD in and see that our actual speed is moving up. Our running forward bit is true. And now our AOI setup is complete. Thanks.